This is the Changshan train station. Uh, still standard procedure in China. Uh, we've got the police officers in the middle of the screen there. You'll see there's someone in the mask. Uh, they're just verifying everyone uh, before you proceed uh, on the station. We've got the security checks, security scans. We've got uh, the boarding gates. Not the boarding gates, the, tra the station gates uh, for the ticket checks. And now we've got uh, the waiting area. This is the waiting area. So today I am leaving. I'm heading towards uh, I'm heading towards Tianjin again. I was in Tianjin two days ago and I have had a very very uh, interesting uh, weekend. So it's been the Luna Festival and uh, today is the luncheon festival the last day of actually it was yesterday the last day of the chinese uh, spring festival like i always say if you're traveling in china uh hi how are you uh, oh you're welcome <laughs> yeah so we got we're going just going to try to skip uh the boarding gates so anyway uh we'll see you when we proceed to the other side so I'm going to use uh, my foreigner privileges to try to skip the queue. Although I've got a working daughter, the advantage is regardless whether I had a daughter or not, uh, I always skip the queue because I'm using a passport and some of these uh, boarding gates, they don't have uh, the passport scanning facilities, only in modern train stations. So now I started at the bottom of the queue. I need to try to jump all the way up and see if I'm going to be able to go through. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it seems like uh, I have an issue of jumping the queue. So I'll have to join in like everyone else. But these boys are trying to do what I'm doing, so we have to go back to the queue. I am sorry, uh, I tried and we failed today. At least I was being reasonable. So we're just going to go ahead and board the train. Our journey shouldn't last like more than 30 minutes. Uh, we're checking in at the same hotel uh, in Tianjin and proceed for the spring festival passes. Oh, those boys, they jump the queue. Seems to work when people try to jump the queue most of the time. Where you go? So I'll scan my passport, then continue. So my passport has been scanned. And uh, because I've got kids, I'll try to use, I have to use the elevator. These are stuff operated. So it looks like our train hasn't arrived yet. I just have to find my coach. We should be at the back. Oh, what you see over there is uh, the green train. That's called the slow train in China. That's the old trains that they've been using in China. And they're very, compared to other countries, they're fast enough. It's 150 kilometers an hour. That's the speed that they travel at. So I just need to find the markings. I have been on the train like twice when I couldn't find uh, any tickets. Uh, the trains were overbooked. The first trains were overbooked. Uh, when I was going to Handan, the other time was, like I was saying, uh, the other time it was just an experimental journey i wanted to see i was coming down to beijing from uh, Guangzhou. i was coming down from Guangzhou. anyway uh, at the train stations you're not supposed to stand beyond the yellow line uh, the, the yellow markings you're supposed to stand behind them until the trains arrive. So anyway, let me just explain exactly what's happening. 
uh, the slow train, the sleeping coaches, and uh, there's public coaches, there's economy, there's uh, then there's a uh, second class which are shared uh, rooms, uh, lip, sleeping coaches, uh, four people at a time. Then there's a uh, VIP, really, it's not VIP, but you get more peaceful. Uh, I wouldn't recommend traveling on the green train unless you don't have any other option. Catch a flight, catch the first train, and uh, unless it's trying to experiment, well, it's good enough. I have seen other YouTubers try it out, and I did try it out myself. Uh, maybe because it was a long journey. That's the reason why I didn't uh, feel comfortable. Anyway, I'm just going to show you uh, the train arriving.